Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I would start a new series, basically looking at every single new release that comes to the Oculus Home Store. So I'm gonna do a review or a first look at every single game as it arrives uh, on the Oculus Home Store, so you guys can see whether it's something that you might wanna play yourself. So we're gonna kick things off today looking at a game called Die Wolf, which was released a couple of days ago. It's an archery arcade style game, similar to the uh, archery game that's on Valve's The Lab, if you've played that before. So I'm gonna jump right in and see how it looks. Right, okay, let's play. So we have uh, a day map. Uh, uh, so we have a day map and a night map, which looks like we have to unlock. So let's jump straight in on the day map. Okay, this looks pretty fun. Um, quite cartoony graphic style, but actually. Um, it looks pretty good. Controls feel quite good as well, you get quite a nice little vibration as you pull the string back uh, on your bow. This is like a practice mode maybe, oh no, I think we're going straight in. Right, okay, let's go. Okay, so, looks like health balloons and we have our first little wolf coming up here. Alright. And then we have these Bat creatures. Okay, so it looks like you have to shoot the coins to get the points after you kill a wolf. I'm really not good at this. Okay, so I don't know, oh, it looks like they come from all sides. Which is going to make things a bit harder. I'm not too sure why I have health, um, because they're attacking the buildings, unless, unless my health is the building health. Jesus, come on. Oh, where's he gone? Okay, round two. More wolves are coming. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. What? 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 Okay. Looks like game over somehow. die once these two uh, buildings are destroyed, maybe. This is target practicing. I don't really like the fact that you have to shoot the coins after you've killed the wolves to get the points. I feel like you should just get the points as you kill them. Okay, let's okay, look at the pigs inside the house. I get it now. Alright, wave two done. Oh, my arms are getting quite tired actually. What would be really cool is to have like a multiplayer version of this, where either like you can have a buddy playing stood over there playing for the other side, or even better, you could kind of be shooting at each other. Okay, it's got, it looks like they're setting up their own weapons now, which is pretty cool. Okay, break time. Oh, oh that's quite cool. I like that. Oh, 
kind of fun. Um, so I'm not too sure what happened there. Looks like it froze um, and I got kicked out back to the Oculus home screen. I'm going to stop playing there and just give you guys a very quick review of what I thought. To be honest, I think I prefer the Valve Lab version. It was good fun. I quite like the cartoony style and the fact that they sort of fire things back at you. That was good fun. Um, but it just felt a little bit unpolished and a little bit glitchy in parts. I kind of felt it was just lacking a bit of sustenance for a full paid game. Maybe in the future if they would implement some multiplayer stuff that might be quite cool but I certainly won't be rushing back to play that one anytime soon. But that being said it's good fun and it's uh, probably quite good for young kids as well if you want to give them a taste of VR. Uh, a good one to show friends and family and it wasn't too bad for the price, £3.99. Um, so I think I'll probably give that a 6 out of 10. So let me know what you guys thought of the game in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video as well and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I'll see you on the next video.